Yo, what is up guys? Biscuit Bro here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why games are not as bad as people say they are. Now, some of the games I'm talking about are like games like Minecraft and Pro Zoo. Now, Minecraft is not as obvious as other things, but for me, I found that it helped me out a lot. It especially it especially helped me out when typing. Um before I kind of suck at typing, I have to like like uh I don't know, just like use like one finger to press e at each key just yeah i was really bad but then i started playing mine well i didn't well then i started playing minecraft and talking to people online and then i kind of had the pressure of not really pressure but i kind of felt like i had to respond really fast and stuff like that so that could just kind of almost forced me to learn to type a lot faster now other ways that minecraft is kind of helpful or educating i guess you could say is that um it can like kind of teaches you the pure basics of survival you know you gotta get coal you need shelter and stuff like that you need water and all that kind of stuff but um yeah so another game that really is helpful is portal 2 now i haven't really experienced any help from it but that's because i don't play it a whole lot and it just kind of gets me mad uh why does it get me mad well it's just probably probably the most confusing game in the entire world but um yeah so that's kind of why it actually helps though because it's so confusing you have it's just basically probably one of the hardest puzzle games i have played now i know there's like those iphone or ipod apps and stuff like that where it's just escape the room or something like that those are confusing but portal 2 and portal oh my gosh those are hard i have not played half-life so i'm not sure if that's a puzzle game or not but if it is uh go ahead and tell me and yeah i guess i don't know but um yeah so that's really all I have to talk about today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, 